heralding a new chapter in relations after more than 50 years of hostilities. The United States and Cuba announced Wednesday they will reopen their embassies in Havana and Washington, a move President Barack Obama called a historic step forward. The progress that we mark today is yet another demonstration that we don't have to be imprisoned by the past. When something isn't working, we can and will change. Obama said Secretary of State John Kerry will travel to Havana later this month to raise the American flag for the embassy's opening. This step has been long overdue. In a highly unusual move underscoring the new spirit, Cuban state television broadcast Obama's remarks live with Spanish translation. The embassy agreement marks the biggest tangible step toward normalizing relations since the surprise announcement in December that the two countries were restarting diplomatic ties. Still, an embargo preventing Americans from traveling or doing business in Cuba remains. Obama calling on Congress to change that. Americans and Cubans alike are ready to move forward. I believe it's time for Congress to do the same. Those calls were echoed in Havana, where many expressed optimism and caution. It's a good moment. We must take advantage of it. But it all depends on the embargo, which is what affects here the most. But Obama faces stiff resistance from Republicans, as well as many Cuban Americans, who say he is rewarding a government that has long engaged in serious human rights abuses. Today is a day, a very sad day for us. We cannot support the violation of human rights. While the opening of the embassies marks a major milestone in the thaw between the U.S. and Cuba, the human rights issue is just one of several concerns, reminding both sides that as they look to normalize relations, significant obstacles remain. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.